let's uh, move on to Baroness Bra. I mean, this is the story that uh, for journalists keeps on giving because Michelle Moan, uh, Baroness Bra, and her husband Doug Barrowman, who runs a company that supplied 200 million quid's worth of uh, PPE to the government in the COVID crisis, uh, from which uh, Doug, uh, Doug's company made a 60 million pound profit. They keep denying they've done anything wrong. What they uh, stand accused of is, of course, Michelle Moan going to the government and saying, I can get you a load of PPE. What do you say? Oh, yeah, you're in the in crowd. You're on the VAP list. Yeah, here's 200 million quid. Uh, this is, uh, they stand accused of corruption. Uh, it was revealed just before Christmas that a three million pound payment went into Baroness Bra's private account. Uh, and uh, now Doug Barrowman, her husband, is saying, oh, we're being made scapegoats. Mm. Uh, this is just a distract from the incompetence of the government. Well, I agree uh, that the government was terribly incompetent, particularly on PPE, but this is not just a distraction, is it? No, this isn't a distraction. And, you know, I think they must have the most terrible PR people that yes. they would ever have. That's because what... they keep doing Andrew-style interviews, which <laughs> just make it worse and worse every time. Look, they might be a scapegoat at this point in time. They are not alone in this. There are lots of companies who made millions from PPE. Oh. We're paying three million quid a day to store the rubbish PPE that was supplied along those VIP routes. Just a joke. This, yeah. this needs to be investigated. We need to get our money back because let's not forget that 60 million is our money. Yeah. Yeah. The 240 million paid for them, the PPE that wasn't even fit to use, I, know, what, uh, I what's think the our money. Phrase, phrase that when you're in a hole, stop digging. So D yes. Doug and Michelle are down in a very deep hole. You've got spades, mud coming out the top. They're digging and digging, digging 100%. themselves into more and more trouble. It's, I, it's bizarre to watch. Yeah. yeah. I think the is, weirdest line, the weirdest line was when he said, Well, that's my money. Uh, Michelle didn't necessarily have any of it. She didn't profit from it at all. It's up to me if I give my wife money. It's my money. And I put it into a bank account for my family. Is that what... Uh, by the way, both of them, uh, uh, she's admitted lying to the press, and I hate her for that. Because, but has never said because sorry. Because she, she thinks that's OK. Yeah. That she thinks it's... Uh, it, oh, look, I only lied to the press. If you lie to the press, it means you lie to everybody. Yeah. And once you have admitted lying once, why should anyone believe you ever again, Michelle? But it wasn't just them. I mean, what we found during the pandemic, and everyone seems to have forgotten it, was there was Conservative Party donors, Conservative Party councillors, all the people who Matt seemed Hancock's to get the Lanyard. big con Lanyard. Yeah, all the people got the big contracts were connected to the Conservative Party. Because I knew a number of businesses who actually deal in things like PPE and wanted to but sell couldn't. proper and couldn't even get through. Well, it's worth noting on that that this company, MedPro, was set up five days after she made her first approach. So it wasn't even it a business even that they were in. It didn't even exist. And don't yeah. forget that Michelle uh, and other uh, important people were on a list they literally called the VIP lane. Yes. So if you it's were the right so kind of person, you could it? get to the government yeah. and you could get a deal. Yeah. That what you just said, I didn't realise that. Yeah. Five days after. Five days yeah. after. This was the <laughs> VIP lane to make big bucks yeah. for our mates. Yeah, exactly. It really was.